Hey guys, FileMaker 17 is out, and I thought I'd take a minute to show you some of the cool stuff that they've changed with portals in FileMaker 17. Uh, now I'm going to show you two things, which are the new master detail feature of portals, and also the companion table uh, generator feature. So um, if you have done this in the past, uh, master detail is where you've created a view that has both a list and a detail view side by side. Now you might have done this with window tricks where you have two windows up and open together or you may have put a portal on a uh, form view that has something like a virtual list in it that uh, or a self join that um, that displays that list of uh, data. So I'm using the uh, contact starter solution. I've dropped a couple contacts in and let's show off what that looks like. So in 17 now I'm going to go into layout mode. Uh, you'll notice in 17 the inspector is actually docked on the left hand side. It's a pretty cool um, uh, feature that is more uh, in line with other uh, application development platforms. So I'm actually just going to create a new layout here and I'm going to duplicate the contacts details and just call it contacts master detail. Still going to be contacts everything and we'll go to that screen and that's what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to make enough space for my portal here. I'm just going to drag this stuff over there. So now I've got a space here to put my my master portal and I have my details there. And it's just as easy as dropping a portal in this space. I'm going to say I want records from the current table. Since I don't have any related tables I can't even choose, but you can see current table, this is a new feature here. Uh, the other thing we're going to be talking about here is add-on table. We'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to do current table contacts use an alternate row state, and I'm just going to show 10 rows in this space. Um, and from there I'm just going to hit OK. Now I'm going to expand this, so my body part here is 590. I'm going to make this 589. And just drop it down pixel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab um, some of this stuff here. I'm going to grab photo, I'm going to grab this button, and I'm going to grab um, last and first name. So I'm going to copy that over and drop that into my master detail. And then I can put photo container there. It's all from the same table, so it just will work. And I'm going to shorten up first name a bit. Maybe shorten up last name a bit too. All right, and that's really it. Um, pop that in paste, and there we go. So there's our master detailer um, layout. Now you'll notice I, did, I didn't have to create any relationships. That data is just there. It's based on my found set. So if I found myself here, this portal is going to display my found set. And it's a navigation portal, so when I click on something, <laughs> you see that I, I didn't get the first field quite right there, so let me uh, line that up there. There we go. Um, when I click on that portal, it navigates me to that record. So this is the master detail view. So let's say I want to, I'm going to shrink that up so it's only five rows, and I want to um, use the new feature for creating a, um, a new companion table. So how I'm going to do this is drop that in, and do new add-on table there. And you can see here that I can add on um, information just that I would normally need for something like contacts. So I'm going to choose email addresses and I'm going to choose that and I'm going to call the table name contact emails. Hit OK. And you see it automatically puts together this nice looking interface for me complete with a button. That button's got a script. It adds the script. It adds the parameter for that script for me. Um, creates the portal. And if I go into the relationship graph, you should see that there's my 
relationship that was created. It created a contacts email table with my primary key, all my created at, modified at stuff, and it automatically established this one-to-many relationship for me. Um, so yeah, so I can just go into browse mode and let's say I want an email address, I'm just going to add a work address test at test.com. So it comes with all this stuff built in and it makes it very easy to quickly build. Not sure why that was right anchored, but it was right anchored, I'll left anchor it there. Um, it makes it very easy to build these kind of companion tables that have uh, this stuff already built. So if I look here, there's my type and address, primary key. So FileMaker has these built-in things that make it very easy now to add that related data. So those are the new portal features in 17. Uh, we should see some exciting stuff from the community as they play around with these over the next couple weeks.